Hi Worsties, how's it going? This is happening again, I'm showing my face. Y'all just have to deal with it. I am here on the 21st of December because we are coming to an end of the 21st year of the 2000s. And because of that, I feel like, you know, it's the end of the year. I'm quite scared for 2022, I'm gonna be honest. Only reason why is because they're getting rid of Modern Family here in Netflix Canada at the end of the year, which I think is rude. Where am I going with it? Why? <laughs> Hi, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. You saw the title. It's finally happening. If you saw my feature length film on my channel where I ranked all the NPCs here in Animal Crossing, you would know that I talk a lot and I have a lot to say of just, you know, random virtual characters in a video game. Since I've been promising ranking villagers for the very longest time and I think it's finally time that I started doing it now that the year is coming to an end, I figured the smartest way to do it would be to just categorize the villagers into different sections and the best way to do it is by their personalities. So that's what's happening. We're ranking personalities. What? No. We're ranking the villagers today based on personalities. I figured we would start off with my favorite villager personality type thing in the game which are the crankies, my cranky boys. If you don't know, yes, they're my favorite ones. Are we surprised? My favorite villager is literally cranky. So, um, how do I do this? Oh God. Can I just like, is this allowed? Like, do y'all care if like, I'm literally screen recording because OBS doesn't work on my computer. We've talked about this many times. This is gonna happen because there's literally nothing I can do about it. Here we are. <laughs> this is the first of many ranking thingies. We all know how a ranking video works by now. If you've been perusing YouTube over the last few years, there's not really much much to explain but I figured I would start off by going over each tier and what they represent. So the bottom tier, the F tier, I decided to just simply name it Jail. Because one thing about the Cranky Villagers, a lot of them are definitely criminals and deserve to be there in jail. The next tier is the who tier. Again, pretty self-explanatory. Who are they? I literally don't know them. I've literally never seen them and I don't care for them. They simply just exist. Actually, that's a great segue to the next tier, which is the they exist tier. Similar to the who tier, except I know who they are and I still just have no feelings towards them. This is the meh tier of this video. The next tier is the B tier, which is the I would say high tier. Once again, very similar. I know who they are. Kinda care for them. I would say hi if I see on a, if I see them on a villager hunt. I would go talk to them. Maybe I would take them if they're like pretty cool or whatever. But other than that, you know, they're just they're very safe. They're like I have no thoughts on them, but I don't hate them. And then next up we have the hate bestie tier. These are my besties. These are my boys. I love these men so much. It's great. They're amazing. I've had them before on one of my islands, maybe multiple islands, and I think they're cool and possibly underrated, but we'll get into that when we start ranking. And then the next tier <laughs> The S tier, the my IRL dad wishes. One thing that I like to think about Cranky Villagers is that they're basically like dads. They're the dads of Animal Crossing. In my many years of life, I've learned about manliness and what it means to be a man from Cranky Villagers. My dad hasn't taught me shit. <laughs> Shout out to my dad if he's watching this. All right, that's a better setup, don't we think? I'm so good at this. Let's just get right into it. I have pretty much every cranky villager in Animal Crossing New Horizons is here, including the 2.0 ones, which there's two of them. Yeah, we're just gonna get right into it. Hopefully it doesn't take too long. Starting off right away, we're going in alphabetical order. We have Admiral. Admiral exists. He's pretty cool. He has a nice house. I will say that his house is actually very lovely. I get like drill sergeant vibes from him. I think that's what they're trying to go with for with him. You know, the green and the fact that his name is Admiral. Because of that, like, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like, I feel like he's just rude. Not rude. He's firm. You know what he reminds me of? Oh my God. He, I, I said it and now I have to Google it. He reminds me of this guy. This bald dude from She's the Man. I love this man so much. I think he's one of the more underrated characters on She's the Man. We know what I'm gonna say, so we're just not gonna say. <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know, when I was little and I saw that man on my screen, something LGBT happened. Oh. I don't feel those vibes when I look at Admiral though. No, definitely not. But I do trust Admiral in a weird way. So I would probably put him in the I would say high tier. I would definitely be intimidated by him and I'm pretty sure I've ignored him on past villager hunts. But maybe from here on forth, if I ever do see him, maybe I'll say hi and maybe I'll consider taking him because like I said, I'm pretty sure his house is like really nice. I was gonna Google it, but I don't want to. Next up we have Angus. Angus thongs in perfect snogging. This might be a controversial opinion and I'm pretty 
pretty sure I've shared it before on the channel, but honestly, I like Angus. I've had him in New Leaf. Honestly, like he was one of my ride or dies. He was pretty cool in my opinion. I think it's funny that he's a cow named Angus. Like I said, those types of villagers, the puns and the food themed villagers are always very funny, except for you know who Sir Cheese Rat. I like Angus. So because of that, pretty safe to say he's in the Hey Bestie tier. I also get Guy Fieri vibes from him. I think it's just because of the t-shirt though, not necessarily because of him. But I mean, if he had frosted tips. Oh God, oh God. Next up, oh, here we are, here we are. Next up is Apollo. Everybody knows who Apollo is. He is a fan fave. He definitely is well known in the Animal Crossing community. He's been in the game for a very long time. I don't know if he was in the GameCube game, but I know him from City Folk and Wild World. He was in the movie. Prominent character from the film, might I say. I love Apollo. I don't think I've ever had him in a town or anything. I think the only experience I have with him was like in pocket camp for the one month I played that game. I don't really play it anymore. I love Apollo though. Honestly, I get dad vibes from him. And like I've said, if you're not new to the channel, you would know. I think Quinn is his rebellious young daughter, niece, child counterpart, very Joel and Ellie type. I just think Apollo's pretty cool. I trust him with my life. I feel like he always has like the best piece of advice. He definitely is very wise. He's definitely someone who you can go to when you fuck up and you just need someone to like comfort you and tell you it's okay. I just like Apollo honestly and like it's such a simple design. Design wise like it's a dis like there's nothing to complain about. There's no reason to hate Apollo unless you have like personal beef with him and honestly I think it's safe to say I'm putting him in the my IRL dad wishes tier. He's definitely an S tier villager in my head and I think he's one of the basic villagers that deserves to be basic. He's popular for a reason because he's just well loved. He seems like an overall cool guy. Wow we've already already gotten off to a very good start which is very surprising for someone like me concerning the fact that I'm roasting every single villager and next up we're going to continue the great streak because it's Avery once again I like Avery <laughs> <laughs> I feel like people don't like him because he kind of looks creepy. I think that adds to his character. He looks like a very head empty alien. Pretty sure I've had him before. I feel like there's like a random memory of him being in one of my New Leaf towns. I have nothing against him. There's not really much to say about him. Like, <laughs> I don't know. I think he's a cool design. I think he's pretty great. I don't know what his house looks like, but that doesn't really matter anymore because we can, you know, change them if they're ugly. I'm just going to put him in the Hey Bestie tier because, yeah, there's like literally not much else to say about him. So that was pretty straightforward. Oh God, next up is Boris. I hate the name Boris. And when I look at Boris the villager, he looks like a menace. He looks annoying. He looks like he has anger issues and he desperately is in need of therapy. I feel like he's someone who would like break a plate if he's holding it and you make him mad he would just it onto the ground and be like, what the fuck do you say about me? In high school, he was a bully. I feel like he beats up children in the alleyway. I just don't trust him. He looks like a menace. He looks like a rowdy. You know what? Like it's jail. I think he's already been to jail. And you know what? He should just go back. If Boris is your favorite villager, sorry. <laughs> Who the fuck is that? Is that, that's Boyd. Who the fuck is Boyd? That's his name, right? Boyd? Am I getting that right? Yes, I look at my keyboard when I type, shut up. Yeah, I've already Googled this before. I Googled it before because I definitely do not know who this man is. Who the hell is this man? He is a Libra. Interesting. Oh, he was one of the RV villagers, wasn't he? Who the fuck is Boyd? He has a nice house. <gasps> Sonic. Oh my god, they're getting a new Sonic movie and Tails and Knuckles are in it. I'm quite excited for that. I haven't seen the first one yet, but quite excited for it anyways. Who the fuck is Boyd? Who? I have never seen him. And if I have, I don't remember him. Who the hell is that? He was always there. Do people talk about him? Does he make any noise on Twitter? Is he a fan fave? He's definitely a filler queen. He is a filler queen. He's the Elisa Summers of New Horizons. No offense to Elisa Summers. Next up is Bruce. Ooh, fun fact about Bruce. Um, I have a cat named Bruce in real life. There's a photo of him. I will edit that in. He's adorable. I love him a lot. And I also love Bruce the deer. I've never had him once again in an Animal Crossing game, but he looks pretty cool. He's definitely, I'm surprised he's cranky though. Honestly, like just off design alone, he looks like a smug character. I think maybe I'm just biased because I have, I have, a, I have a cat named Bruce. And I mean, granted, I have another pet who shares a name with a certain villager that I learned sadly the last time we did one of these. If I do run into him though, I would definitely, I'd probably take him. Maybe on blue my second island i might take him honestly if i ever find him in a villager hunt i feel like he'd be fun to have also he's blue so he'd be very on theme not that i'm going for a blue themed island or anything i'd probably put him once again in hey bestie tier i definitely like him and next up we have Brooke. 
which I think is really great because I just love the dog villagers in general. You can't go wrong with a really nice dog villager. I think he was the popular kid in high school who didn't peak. That's what it is. He looks like he was popular in high school for the right reasons, not the wrong ones. And then he went on to college. He went to a good college, did great things in his college, and went on to have a successful career and is now thriving and somehow even hotter than he was in high school. Granted, a lot of us were pretty ugly in high school, myself included, which is pretty cool. I trust him. I'm putting him in the hey bestie tier because he's definitely a bestie. Oh god, next up we have Buzz. You know what it is? I think I've said this before. He gives me like 90s gym coach vibes. Yes, I've definitely said this before. Like I'm talking like the red shorts, the whistle, and he does it unironically like this, but he's also like really, really buff. Like I definitely this. Yes, this is the guy from Supernatural. I'm sorry, this photo just popped up. Sorry to the Supernatural stands. I definitely get like that kind of vibe from him. Like he's definitely really, <laughs> you know, like this kind of vibe when I look at Buzz, this man right here, he was definitely definitely a gym coach and still is a gym coach. He pushes kids to their limit even though they're only 14 and they're going through puberty and already struggling. Definitely yells at you if you can't do a push-up. I'm projecting right now. But in a weird way, I don't know, maybe this is just some deep-rooted issues that I have. I feel like at the same time though, he's doing it out of love. I've been looking at him recently more and more. Like, I kind of get that vibe from him. Like, I'm talking... They're right here. Dot Marie Jones, aka Coach Beast from Glee. I get that vibe. Like Coach Beast from Glee, that kind of vibe where like they're super tough, they're super her rugged, but like they're doing it out of love and they still genuinely care about their students and want the best for them. I just went on a full ass rant for a villager who I've never had once in my life. In a weird way, I trust Buzz, even though his name is Buzz. No offense to anybody named Buzz. Is anybody named Buzz? I feel like the only Buzz I know is Buzz Lightyear, and the one human person I know named Buzz was the guy from Home Alone. And he's not even real, he's just a character. Are there actually people named Buzz? Buzz Aldrin. I feel like someone's gonna be like, my name is Buzz, grr, in the comments. You never know. I'm gonna put him in the, I would say hi tier, but I wouldn't say hi. I would say hi, but I wouldn't say hi. I'd say hi from a distance. I'd just do like a nice little wave and then run away and scream because I know if I talk to him, he's definitely gonna intimidate the shit out of me. And I kind of respect that in a weird way. Is anybody there? There's just a green little block thing right over there next to Caesar. Who is that? There's just, there's no one there. How many times have I done that fucking joke on this channel? It's gotten old. I need to shut up. That's Camel Frog. <laughs> I find the Cranky Frogs in general weird. I don't know. Maybe it's just because they're so little and they have the deep voice. You think I would love that shit considering the fact that in my head, I think Nico, the character, the monkey dude has a deep voice. So you think I'd find it funny, but I don't know. I think it's just Camel Frog himself. I get more jock vibes than Cranky vibes. So I was definitely surprised when I found out he was cranky, but I don't, I don't really hate it. Honestly, I like Camel Frog. Like as a design, I think it's quite funny because there are a lot of frogs in real life who camouflage and blend in with nature. I think that's pretty cool. And I think this is a very fun take on that little feature that a lot of frogs in real life have. Just have a frog that's just camel print. <laughs> And I think Camel Frog in general is pretty cool. I hate its fucking name though. Like Camel Frog, like you couldn't be more creative. I'm not creative enough to come up with a better name, but I'm sure somebody on Nintendo is. Camel Frog, Camel... It kind of sounds like camouflage. Wait, maybe they were onto something. Camouflage, camel frog, camouflage, camel frog. Do those sound alike? Oh my god, maybe they were onto something with that. Never mind, I take all that back. He's not a dad though. I don't get dad vibes from him. I get like older cousin vibes. No, he's gonna be in the. I like camel frog. No, you know what's the what's the determining factor for camel frog and where I'm putting him? His house. What does his house look like? The best way to judge somebody in real life is how their house looks. Yeah, that's cute. I kind of like that. Why does he look so? So angry. Oh my god, what is this, honey? Why does he look so angry there? Okay, I'm 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 like <laughs> He has a very derpy face. I never realized how derpy his face is. Oh my god, look right here. Look how derpy he is. He looks like a character from like a claymation cartoon. Like, I think like, hang on. Like he looks like he would be in a show like Dragon, you know? Like he's definitely, he has like the claymation vibe. Dragon, y'all know this show? Shout out to anyone who watched Treehouse growing up. Shout out to the Canadians. I'm gonna put him in the Hey Bestie tier. Next up, we got Caesar. Yeah, yeah, ooh. Caesar is another villager from the Animal Crossing crossing movie so because of that he has a special place in my heart i love the animal crossing movie you should definitely find a way to watch it if you're able to i actually don't know where you can watch it anymore i feel like i've googled it recently i don't know where it is the animal crossing movie is great caesar was a character on that movie he was kind of a dick though in the movie he was one of the weirdos he would always just like laugh 
and talk about random shit with another villager who we'll get to. They're actually on this list as well. I do like Caesar as a whole. I get very like dude with accent who's funny vibes in a good way. Obviously, he's not funny because of his accent. He's funny, but he just happens to have an accent. That's what I mean by that. And I think Caesar's pretty cool as a villager, but I don't I don't know. Like I don't really have like any like great thoughts about him. He's a gorilla. I think the gorilla villagers, aside from that one, is pretty cool. I'm just probably gonna put him in the I would say hi tier. He's pretty there, but I do like him. Next up we have Chief. Chief is a cranky wolf. And as we all know, the cranky wolves are one of my favorite types of villagers in the game. So I definitely do love Chief, I will say that. I get frat boy vibes from him, definitely. I think it really is the shirt. Not frat boy, I get preppy boy preppy frat boy like he's a frat boy who came from the rich family it's the hair and the shirt definitely like he's the smug little shit he's not like the party goer but he's definitely the bitch you know like he would definitely pick on people for no reason and bully them and act all superior because he's rich but I feel like that's also kind of iconic I don't know I don't know why I get such a bad vibe from him because I do like him I like chief a lot but like I just I don't know I want to put him in the my IRL dad wishes but once again I don't get dad vibes from him I think the best cranky villagers in the games are the ones that you get dad vibes from the ones who feel like your father you feel like they're there for you I don't think chief would be there for me if I came to him with a problem he'd be like you're on your own why are you coming to me so I I feel like for that reason I'm just gonna have to put him in the hey bestie tier I think that's the best summary for the hey bestie tier they're great but they're not dad worthy dad vibes I don't have daddy issues all right next up we have chow I do like chow as a villager but why is he pink why is he pink he was not pink was he always pink that is something that just confuses me like was he always pink look like in new leaf he was a different shade of pink they made him so much more pink. He went from like eggshell to the inside of the egg. Like why? What is the, and why does he look like that in the older game? Jesus, God, his life definitely got together when he started closing his mouth. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. No, but honestly, I did like him in New Leaf though. I think he had a really nice design in New Leaf. Like, I feel like New Leaf him was great. GameCube him, Jesus Christ, that's a sleep paralysis demon. I'm so sorry for this. New Horizons Chow is okay, but again, why is he pink? Why is he pink? It just looks like somebody skinned him alive. Like, where is his fur? He's definitely Chester's older brother. Like, I definitely think that they're related. They simply just exist in my head. Croak. Frog villagers in this game are definitely great. We can all agree on that. But Croak? Croak? We all know I'm a Chugga Conroy New Leaf stan, so we all know the trauma that he put poor Emil through the entire Let's Play. I've never seen someone such an ass in new leaf i've had my fair troubles with various villagers we know the story with one of them in new leaf and the trauma they put me through but i don't think i've ever seen someone that traumatized from a villager in new leaf of all games new leaf is definitely where the dialogue started to get toned down and they were more friendly and hey bestie those kinds of vibes but how is croak still a little shit i do not understand he is big talk for someone who's only like this tall you can step on him i've never met him i don't want to meet him honestly i think he just needs to go to jail for the amount of shit he put chugga conroy through even though it was almost 10 years ago which holy shit it was almost 10 years ago since new leaf came out what the fuck next up we have kurt hummel aka kurt I think i said it before i do like kurt as a villager i remember when i was a kid like i've seen photos of him and stuff when i was like perusing the internet looking for like animal crossing city folk vibes i always wanted kurt as a kid i don't know why like i think it was just the fact that he was a bear and when i was a child i loved bears as a child and i still do as a grown man oh my god i knew from a young age huh bears in general were pretty cool and i think it was just like it was the color the fact that he was gray kind of blue and like you know the little the little tape thing on his head i would definitely say hi if i saw him as an adult i definitely said i definitely said hi to him is it safe to say he's kind of underrated i don't think so nah i don't think he is i feel like he's very meh overall within the fan base next up is sid and i just want to apologize to sid like we only had eight new villagers in this game 
I think that's the least amount of new villagers ever because I know a new leaf. New leaf, we had a bunch of new villagers. You know, we got a bunch of new dogs. We got a bunch of new mice, blah, blah, blah. We also had two new personality types in new leaf. So sisterlies and smugs were introduced in that game. So we got a butt ton of new villagers amongst those. Hamster villagers and deer villagers were also new. So on top of that, we got more villagers, like in general. So to go from that to New Horizons, where they only introduced eight at first, and then, you know, this year we got more. Like the fact that like every single one of them had so much hype, except for Sid and also Megan. Like I felt so bad, especially for Sid. Megan, I can understand why she's very meh. I don't know. She doesn't really have any flavor. But I think Sid is a pretty cool design. Honestly, I just feel so sorry for Sid. Yes, I get like tomato vibes from him for some reason. I think it's just because he's red and round. And if that little purple hair thing at the top of him was green he would definitely look like a tomato oh my god he would look like a tomato he's a tomato but i do like sid and like i said i feel really bad that like he got the short end of the stick because of you know the other new villagers in the game i do like sid though i feel like he's really fun to be around i think he's a rowdy in like a good way like he would do the crazy shit for fun and like it would be a good time like he would you know he would like take one of his friends put them in a shopping cart and shoot them down the parking lot i feel like he's just a good time you know like he's like one of those vloggers like i'm thinking like what vibes do i get when i look at him kind of like chris clemens chris clemens isn't a menace but like chris clemens looks like he's fun to be around and I get the same vibe from Sid. I feel like Sid's fun to be around. I'm not gonna put him in the Hey Bestie tier just because I don't know him but I think I would definitely say hi. I would definitely say hi and possibly take him if I found him on a villager hunt. How does his house look? We need to see this. His house definitely matches his vibe. It's kind of ugly though, sorry. Ooh, and I was talking earlier about a cranky villager in the Animal Crossing movie. Here's the other one who was Caesar's counterpart, Cyrano. I've had Cyrano and Windle, so I actually do like him. He has a nice house. He has a nice design. I love the colors used, the yellow and the blue. It's definitely like one of my favorite shades of both colors. He was definitely a menace and annoying. Why do I keep saying menace? I learned like the meaning of that word recently and now it's all I want to use every time I describe a crazy person. But like Cyrano's pretty cool. I love his eyebrows. Eyebrows are just great. Shout out to eyebrows. They really make people prettier. It's definitely working for Cyrano. Cyrano's a million times prettier with those chunky ass eyebrows. Chunky eyebrows for the win. Well, he is a bestie. He's a bestie in my eyes. I like him a lot. He was kind of annoying in the movie, but himself, like him as a villager, he's pretty cool. I don't know. I don't know why. If he wasn't blue, would I still like him? If he was orange, would I still like him? Probably not, so I'm probably gonna have to put him in that tier instead. All right, moving on. Ugh, we got Dell. Who the fuck is Dell? <laughs> another one but when i villager hunt on my own and like when i was villager hunting before i started youtube i was always running into dell i think he's a submarine but i still get airplane vibes from him he's dressed as a sailor though so he's probably a submarine wait oh my god i just kind of understood because crocodiles oh my god wait i think i'm understanding why he's a submarine he's supposed to be like this alligators floating in the water like woo 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 woo, woo. i think moto moto likes you and then submarines they like kind of do the same thing is that why he's a submarine because they both do the same thing oh my god they're in the i would say hi tier just because of that i don't know who the fuck they are i was gonna put them in the who tier but because of that design his japanese name and appearance represents the japanese battleship yamato oh so he's not based off Okay, yeah, I mean, like, I guess that does the same thing. He kind of looks like that. He gets, I get, ooh, he definitely does look like a battleship. Okay, so forget the thing that I just went through. That definitely does look like Bell Dell. And that does the same thing as submarines too. Wow, I really just, what the fuck am I on? Can we just move on? <laughs> I don't even need to fucking explain. If you are on this channel, if you are on this channel, you know damn well, Doby is my fucking father. Me and Doby, this last year, literally ever since I got Animal Crossing, he's been on every single island I've had in Animal Crossing history. Well, New Horizons history. He was on my first one, then Windle, Eldnew, and now he's on Fallbrook. Maybe I might find him on Blue, we'll see. Doby and I have been through so much. I love this man so much with my whole heart. He is my bestie, he's my ride or die, he's my rock, I'm his role. It just works. Shout out to Dobie. Elvis. Who the fuck is Elvis? That's another one. Who is he? Why is he a king? Is Elvis in reference to a king? His Japanese name is Kingu, which means king. Why do they name him Elvis instead?
Oh, because he was known as the king. Keep reading, you dumbass. Lion King. He's a lion. He's the king of the jungle. His name is Elvis because Elvis was known as the king. Wow, I'm learning a lot. Just you, you see what Googling things does? You learn so much. Kids, the life lesson you need to learn from this video, Google is your friend. Anytime you have a thought in your head, just Google it and see what you can find out. I found out why Dell is a ship. I found out why Elvis is named Elvis and he's a lion. I would say hi. Nintendo's a lot smarter than I give him credit for, huh? Oh my god. Oh my god. No explaining needed. Fang is the one that got away 100%. Fang and I are besties. I've known Fang longer than I've known Wolfgang. Like I've had Fang in more towns is what I mean. I've had him in a bunch of towns in New Leaf. I had him on my first island in New Horizons. Dobie, Fang, and Wolfgang are like my holy trinity. I love Fang so much. We don't need to explain it because like I said, if you've been on the channel for a while, you would already know. So I don't really need to get into that. We have so many other villagers to get into. Like Frank. Frank exists. Frank is a villager that I always tend to forget about. So I'm just going to put him in the who tier because who is he? Hmm. We have the first 2.0 villager in the ranking. Um, shout out to the 2.0 villagers. I think they're all great. Every single one of them, except one of them. We'll get into it. They're on this list. Um, oh God, Fret, the man that was supposed to ruin my life. And in a weird way, he is ruining my life. If you didn't see my last video, go check that out. You'd know why. Oh God, Fret is currently on my island, my second island of blue. Of all the 2.0 villagers, he was the one that I was like the most excited for, the one that I really wanted. So when I finally found him, like, hell yeah, that's great. I like him a lot though, I will say that. Cranky, cranky, cranky yellow dog boy thing. His shocked face honestly is like the main reason why I love him. Like the fact that his eyes just shrink and he looks like that is amazing. I said it in my um thoughts on 2.0 villager video thingy. Um, He looks like Jason, what's his name? This dude, I googled it before. Jason Sudeikis. Sudeikis. I don't know how to say his name. This guy. I get very that vibe from him. So because of that, he's definitely in my IRL dad bushes because I get dad vibes from him. He is a dad. He is the dog dad. Probably the dad of Benjamin. Let's be honest. He's probably Benjamin's father. Oh my god. Next up, we got Gaston. Oh my god. Shout out to Julian Salamita. I love that man so much. Julian Salamita. Side note. Tangent incoming. He's like my YouTuber crush. He's been my YouTuber crush for the longest time. I love that man so much. And now every time I look at Gaston, I'm going to be reminded of him. It's just the mustache. It's the mustache. You know who Gaston reminds me of? He reminds me of this guy. For sure. This guy from Luca. Massimo. That's his name. Also, um, this vibe from him for sure. 100%. He's that kind of character. He's the father. The angry father who's actually very nice. Gaston doesn't fight you. He murders. For that reason, I do respect him. <laughs> <laughs> you know how I said he looks like this dude from Luca? Luca, dad. A daughter, girl. What's her name? I don't remember. Luca, daughter. It's not going to show her. No, it's not. Fuck. What's her name? Redhead girl. Can I just Google that? This girl gives me the vibes of, um, this is the redhead girl from Luca and Gaston is the dad with the mustache from Luca. Gonzo. I love Gonzo so much. You would know he was also on Windle. Gonzo's great. Gonzo's awesome. I love Gonzo so much. Fun fact, I thought for the longest time that Gonzo and Doby were going to get together when they both lived on Windle, but they didn't. And Doby's now far away from Gonzo. But what do we think? Do we think Gonzo and Dobie would make a good couple? Because I kind of see it. Two old men that are just like together. Do we think that works? I kind of think it works. He's going in the IRL dad tier, by the way, if you didn't notice. I love Gonzo a lot. And speaking of IRL dads, Grizzly's another one. Bear. Me. <laughs> Lumberjack man. Oh my god. Can we Google? Can we look at Lumberjacks real quick? This is Grizzly from Animal Crossing for sure. Oh god, not that. Oh god, scroll. Groucho. Who the fuck is Groucho? I was going to say, I was going to put him in the Who tier. I'm going to put him in the They Exist tier because like I said, he has a really nice theme in Happy Home Paradise. He wants to be a farmer and he gives you a lot of nice farming items. So Groucho is pretty cool. Gruff, on the other hand, jail. No, I don't want to put him in jail. Ugh, I had Gruff. I like, I had Gruff and I feel like he like, he never caused any trouble on my island. I'm just going to put him in the They Exist tier. I feel bad when I look at him. I feel like he's just so misunderstood, but it's like at the same time, why is he so ugly? Hamfree. I never had Hamfrey. I feel like Hamfrey and I would definitely scrap, but I think Hamfrey is well loved in the Animal Crossing community. I feel like a lot of people do like him. I can see why. He looks pretty cool, I'll admit. I'm quite a fan of him as a design. He's black and blue. I, I think I would just simply say hi to him. Like, ah, he looks annoying, but he looks fun to be around. I get like uncle vibes from him. Ugh.
No, but you know what? No, I'm going to put him in that they exist here too because he has a nice theme in Happy Home Paradise. He gives you a bunch of cardboard boxes. I love the cardboard boxes. Shout out to cardboard boxes. He looks like a cardboard box. Hopper. Oh my God, another character from the movie. I forgot he was in the movie. I liked his role. He was just the man that wanted to be left alone so he can fish. I relate to that a lot. I've also had Hopper on many towns in New Leaf. I like him. I like him a lot. I think Hopper is a great design. I think he's kind of underrated nowadays. I feel like he was well liked back in the day like during City Folk especially but it, yeah nowadays like he's kind of just like he's been left in the dust and I think he deserves more love but I will admit maybe a lot of people are creeped out by him by, because of the red eyes but it doesn't really mind me so he's in the bestie tier he's definitely a bestie Ike is next bear so you know how I feel about that. I do like Ike. I've never had him. I don't know. I, I would still probably put him in the I would say I tier. Maybe I'd take him if I ever find him again on a villager hunt. Maybe for blue. We'll see though. Kabuki. Kabuki is very cool and he is a fan fave. He is a fan fave for a reason. I think he has an awesome design. I think he's great. I'm putting him in the dad tier because I do get dad vibes from him. That's Knox. Yes, that is Knox. Girl, it's 2021. I mean, maybe he works at Medieval Times. Does he have a cell phone? Do you think he has a cell phone? Do you think he believes in technology? Would he ride a horse? I feel like he would ride a horse. Maybe he'd have a cell phone, but he would definitely ride a horse. I'm just gonna put him in the in the day exist tier. I don't really have any more thoughts about him. Limburg, on the other hand, I have many thoughts. I'm not gonna go any further. I'm just gonna put him in that tier because, well, duh. Lobo is next. I've heard people say he's the bootleg version of Wolfgang and I kind of agree <laughs> but I do like Lobo again Cranky Wolf I love the Cranky Wolves I feel like yeah he would have to be my least favorite of the Cranky Wolves so I'm probably just gonna put him in the Hey Bestie tier <sighs> Marlo's next we all know my thoughts on Marlo and they haven't really changed. Mafia men scare me. I'm scared of mafia men. And I think that's the main reason why I want to fight him. Because I'm afraid of him. I think he would definitely shoot me. But at the same time, I know for a fact that if I get on his good side, he'll pay me very good. But if I get on his good side, I'm going to have to do work for him. And I don't want to do work for anybody. Work is so annoying. I want to put him in jail. But I feel like he would embezzle and bribe his way out of jail. For now, although I do want to fight him, I think I'm just going to put him in the day exists here my thoughts haven't really changed about him but i know he's well loved in the community and I, a lot of people do like his design i think i just need to meet him and like get to know him and get acquainted with him you know we can like sit down get a coffee chat see how we view life maybe we're very similar do i give marlo vibes no i don't actually no i'm putting him in the i would say hi tier i would probably say hi to him monty is next who the fuck is monty who is monty and continuing that streak who is murphy like, who is he? Who is he? Who is she? Who is she? Like, <laughs> genuine question. Who is Murphy? Octavian's next, though, and I love Octavian. He's going in the Hey Bestie tier. For sure. I don't get dad vibes from him, but he looks like he'd be a good friend. I feel like octopus and squids in general would definitely be very cranky. They'd be either very cranky or very jittery. This is Octavian. 100%. This is Octavian. Hank from Finding Dory was inspired by Octavian. Pee-wee's next. Why is his name Pee-wee? His name is a joke on his size and personality. Pee-wee, usually indicating size with relation to you, and Pee-wee is in fact large and adult. I trust that. I, I do trust that. Kind of fits into the whole like tiny characters with deep voice vibes. I feel like like if he was not cranky or if crankies weren't limited to having deep voices he would definitely have a high-pitched voice he would probably sound like a chipmunk i think he's in the i would no he's in the, mm, uh, mm, mm, mm. he's not a bestie i would definitely say hi to him rasher is going to jail ricky is also going to jail and rizzo well we all know damn well he's already in jail and he deserves to stay there for a very long time we have rocco next the underrated rocco if you watch chaga conway's new leaf let's play <laughs> <laughs> That's his nickname. I like Rocco a lot. He is a bestie. Rolf is not a bestie, but I would definitely say hi to him, but I'm kind of afraid of him, and he's definitely Bianca's older brother. Rooney, my boy. I love Rooney a lot. I love Rooney. He's an IRL dad wish dude person. I had him in a New Leaf Town. He's a bestie. Roscoe's next. Roscoe is a bestie. Roscoe's a great design. Emo, horse, goth boy dude. Perfect. I love how they made him just so dark and like it looks like you're looking into the void spike and static how 
fitting that they're right next to each other. They are definitely boyfriends. Nintendo confirmed it with that commercial and they are both besties as well. I love them both. Static's actually one of my favorite cranky villagers. I don't get dad vibes from him, but he is one of my favorite cranky villagers. I love him a lot. Now he's going in the S tier. He's S tier. He's an S tier villager. I love him a lot. And I feel like he's kind of underrated, especially for the squirrels. The squirrels are such fan faves. Why aren't y'all giving love to Static? Static's great. Who the fuck is this? Wait, who is that? <laughs> That's not Stu. Stu's a lazy. Who is this? Is it T? T-Bone? Is it T-Bone? I thought T-Bone was a lazy as well. Wait. Who the fuck is T-Bone? Who is this man? Who is he? I, in my head, genuinely, in my head, I thought T-Bone and Stu were the same person. I was like, there's a villager in Animal Crossing named T-Bone. No, there isn't. That's just something I dreamt of. There's not actually an Animal Crossing villager named T-Bone. No, there's an Animal Crossing villager named T-Bone. What does he do? Who is he? What is the point of him? Does anybody like him? Does anybody have him? Does he have a nice house? No. Okay. Tom. Tom is a bestie. Oh my god. Tom was on my Windle Town and then he was in El New. Tom is an icon. If you've been here since the El New days, he was a main character. I love him. I love him a lot. He's one of my favorite cat villagers. He's blue. That's why I like him. But like, Tom is S tier in my head because he's one of my faves and he's an El New icon. He's a bestie. He's a bestie for sure. Vic. <laughs> Vic and Vis. Vic gives... Thor vibes. If Vic was human, he would look like this person. And we all know how I feel about this person. Oh, yes, daddy. Oh, yes, daddy. Oh, yes, daddy. Wow. Vlad. Like, such a bright color. But he's such a bitch. And I love that about him. He gives me Stewie Griffin vibes. He definitely stirs the pot and he has fun doing it. So for that reason, I do respect him. So he's going in the bestie tier. Walt. Oh, Walt's next. Walt is Rooney's dad. 100%. He's also an Eldnew resident. In case you don't remember, he was on Eldnew for a brief period. He moved out right before the drama started. Literally right before the drama started. Because when he moved out, that's when Peck moved on. Walt is the reason why Peck lives on lived on Eld New. Walt is the reason for the downfall of Eld New. Peck moving on to Eld New was the start of the flop era for Eld New. So in that way, I do respect Walt. Walt is to blame for all of this because <laughs> if Walt never moved out, Peck wouldn't have autofilled onto the island and we wouldn't be where we are today. So Walt is definitely an S tier villager. I do like him anyways. I love him a lot. He's a great villager, great design. And like I said, he's definitely Rooney's dad. Jail. Best for last. Did I plan this? No. This was actually how it was arranged originally. The great note to end off on. Case in point, let's put aside the angry coconut lore yes currently wolfgang and i are like in a rocky space but aside from all of that he is still my favorite villager in the game here i am getting sentimental and sappy about my favorite villager in the game once again do i need to do it again no but i'm gonna do it anyways just in case people don't know he's my favorite villager um i had him in city folk like that was the first time i ever saw him like 10 years ago it's been over 10 years now it was like back in 2009 he was on my town i loved him a lot he was blue and he's a wolf my favorite animals are wolf my favorite color is blue. So instantly as a child, I was in love with him. He was great. And back in City Folk, in case you don't know, animals used to just move out without telling you like you would just show up at their house one day and they would be in boxes and they'd be like oh i'm leaving bye sometimes they would tell you but most of the times they wouldn't and because i was a dumb child i didn't know that they could actually ask you so i guess wolfgang just never asked me and he just moved out and i was sad i was screaming crying throwing up at the fact that wolfgang my favorite villager moved out come new leaf or you know that time and then i started watching chugga conroy's let's play because i couldn't afford the game at first that's when i learned because once again i was a dumb child i didn't know that villagers had birthdays and you know in new leaf that's when they were like actually properly celebrate it in city folk it was just kind of like you know you would go to their house and they'd be like hey it's my birthday another villager would be there celebrating but they didn't do anything other than that new leaf was like basically how it is in new horizons they would have like actual parties so i was curious and i googled hey who shares a birthday with me i'm born on november 25th turns out <laughs> Wolfgang as well, born on November 25th, which, well, I'm pretty sure everyone knows that by now if you saw my last birthday video. And like, that's when I was like, one, once I get a new leaf, I am going to search high and low for Wolfgang. I'm going to wait and pray that he comes onto my island because you couldn't actually villager hunt in that game. They would just kind of spawn. I wanted Wolfgang so bad. I've had new leaf for so long, so many towns, so many resets. I've had so many villagers. I've had most of these villagers on this list. Wolfgang just never showed up on my game and I was so sad. Come New Horizons, we're finally able to villager hunt. 
and choose who gets to live on our island. And my first island flopped because I never got Wolfgang once. And then Windle happened. And a few months after that happened, I started this YouTube channel. And on the very ever first villager hunt that I did on this channel, which is still up, it's very cringe, but you can watch it anyways. With only 10 tickets in hand, September 3rd, 2020, I found Wolfgang and I screamed, cried, and throwed up. Was also celebrating. And ever since that day, <laughs> it was great. Wolfgang is still my favorite villager. I love him a lot. I've been thinking nonstop about him for a very long time. He's definitely one of the reasons why I love Animal Crossing a lot. And he's a great villager. Overall, he will forever and always be my favorite villager. He's definitely S tier in my head. That's that on that. That is the end of this ranking video. Holy fucking shit, that took very long. But here we are. <laughs> What was the point of this video? There was none. But why did I do it? Because I wanted to. This is the final tier right over here. What do we think? Do we agree? Do we disagree? I obviously do plan on doing all the other personality types in the game. If you look up in my little bookmarks, you can see I already have the next one planned. Hint, hint, it's a very similar personality type to Cranky. So that's going to come sometime soon. I don't plan on doing all of these like now. I kind of want to like sporadically do them throughout these next few months. Just so, you know, I don't know, we can let this marinate for a bit. But there we go. I finally started ranking all the villains in the game. I know I've promised that video for a very long time. This is part one of, I guess, eight because there's eight different types. Let me know if y'all want me to do the second part. If y'all want it, I might do it sooner than I plan to do it. But um, yeah, I am just going to leave it at that and go back to doing what I was originally doing. So... Ooh. This is one of the reasons why I wanted to watch Endgame, honestly. Oh, I guess I should end the video. Okay, yeah, bye. <laughs>